When it comes to flying first class, no one accommodates better than the elite flight attendants of Emirates Airlines. But getting this prestigious and much sought after job is a lot tougher than you think. What makes Emirates flight attendants a cut above the rest? Sit back and get comfortable because we're about to find out. You may not think that flight attendant is a job that sounds competitive or even desirable, but past Emirates Airlines recruitment drives have seen as many as a whopping 120,000 applicants from countries all over the world. According to Catherine Baird, the Senior Vice President for Cabin Crew Training at Emirates, these recruitment drives attract an array of talent that even includes people with degrees in law and medicine. But before you can even think of becoming Becoming part of this elite team of hospitality experts, there are certain criteria one must fit, and Emirates Airlines places strict requirements on all of its job applicants. First, you have to be at least a high school graduate, be fluent in speaking English, and also at least 21 years of age. You have to have a healthy body mass index, or BMI, be at least 5 foot 2 inches tall, and have an arm reach of 7 feet while standing on your tippy toes? A flight attendant has to meet the physical demands of the job like reaching up into those overhead compartments to help you store that oversized carry-on that you should have checked. If you're among those lucky enough to land this dream job, then say goodbye to your current neighbors, because working on the cabin crew at Emirates means you have to move to Dubai. The company provides housing in more than 50 buildings in its headquarter city, where two to three colleagues of the same gender share an apartment. Once settled into their new digs, it's off to Emirates' state-of-the-art training facility, where budding cabin crew undergo some of the most intense training in the business. First, they'll spend two Two weeks learning safety and emergency procedures that include scenarios like handling cabin fires and emergency water landings. And that's all done inside life-sized aircraft simulators capable of mimicking real-life air turbulence. Next, it's five days of medical training, where the new employees learn everything from administering CPR to dealing with burns and bleeding and even how to deliver a baby at 30,000 feet. And as you might expect, the new crew also spends several days learning how to handle things like hijackings, sabotage, and disruptive behavior. This even includes combat training. So watch out, frequent flyers. The person you're bothering for extra pillows and blankets might just be able to kick your butt. Emirates Airlines cares a lot about image. And that's why the company has its own imaging and grooming department, providing strict guidelines for flight attendants on everything from lipstick color to hairstyle. A female flight attendant's fingernail color is restricted to either light pink or nude or your standard two-tone French manicure. Their lipstick must be a vivid red pigment known as Emirates Red to match the company logo, and eyeshadow is restricted to brown or beige. Hairstyles are limited to a French twist or bun with an optional Emirates Red scrunchie. Similar restrictions are put on jewelry as well. Plain and simple watches are allowed, but necklaces are a no-no. They take these things so seriously at Emirates that the imaging and grooming department even offers classes on makeup and skincare. For the dudes, there are similar rules. Male flight attendants must remain clean-shaven and hair must be neat away from the face and never long enough to touch their shirt collars. They're also not allowed to have a hairstyle considered overloaded with product. And while on board, no Emirates flight attendant is allowed to have visible tattoos. Well, so far, we've learned all about what it takes to be a rookie flight attendant with Emirates Airlines. Rookies start out working in economy class and hopefully get promoted to business class. What's after that? Well, only the most prized position in the department, first class flight attendant. Landing this dream position means even more vigorous training, especially when it comes to meal service. First-class flight attendants with Emirates endure vigorous, high-class food service training to provide what they call silver service to their high-rolling jet setters. This includes a three-course meal of an appetizer, main course, and dessert served in intervals. The training includes everything from the etiquette of proper plates and cutlery to exclusive training on wines and spirits. They know all about their guests before they even get on board. Would you believe that before each flight, this crew is given a briefing of every single guest they'll be accommodating? That's right! With these, the crew members are given names and information of each guest, including special info on any VIPs. During flight, the attendants take meticulous notes on each guest, recording everything from reasons for flying, their hobbies, dietary restrictions, drink preferences, even which sized pajamas they wear. This information gets passed on to the next crew member that serves a particular guest. Is all this rigorous 
rigorous training and strict rule adherence worth it? Well, an Emirates airline flight attendant's salary starts out at roughly $32,000 a year. Now, that may seem meager, but don't be fooled because there are other great benefits of the job. For one, remember those apartments we told you about? They don't pay for those. That salary doesn't seem too meager when none of it has to go toward rent or mortgage, now does it? They also get 30 vacation days a year, a whole month, and they can go anywhere with those 30 days with one free flight ticket per year and a special discount airfare for friends and family. But the best part? Traveling to 140 destinations worldwide with all the accommodations and meals paid for by the airline. That's pretty sweet. Well, that's all for what it really takes to be a first-class flight attendant with Emirates Airlines. Would you adhere to all these rules and cater to the super rich to get that free month-long vacation to anywhere? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to The Richest, and join our notification squad. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.